Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2. Okay, that's not the journal. What's the journal? Okay, I'll just do that then. Uh, what are we doing? I don't remember what we're doing right now. Yeah, it's been, it's been three weeks since I played. Yeah, it's not sprint. That's not the sprint bus. I'm too used to that being the sprint bus. Do we need that? Okay, I think I need. Yeah, I just need to go back down here. Oh, nice. Nothing to choose from. Nothing to choose from. Yep. Okay, that might be better. I get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. Commencing shutdown. Okay, uh, first of all, cryo ammo. Ah, oh, this is, I remember this, I had a little bit of trouble here. Uh, I think I need to use my cloak. So they they can't go far, okay, that makes sense. Get that shutter closed. We can't fight them on two fronts. Good. Just one more shutter. Hurry. Uh Garrison is uh being taken down at the moment. Come on, let's go, we can do this. This is where the good stuff comes in. Come on, let's let's snipe the fuck out of them. Pistols because that actually does more damage per shot. <laughs> and get cryo on in this as well. Damn, more trouble on the bridge. I can't keep up. Tab. 
Okay, it's shift, okay. I can't log in, log, log in on that target. I want to guess people are This game puts some glitches in it. Good. Good stuff. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Let me go. took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. He still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. Got him! Oh, the main fight's over there. I've got it! <clears throat> I think this needs some like a touch, doesn't it? I've got him! That was a terrible shot. Yeah, no shit. I can see that. Right. No, there's still at least. Don't need to learn my controls. Apparently. Shields are down! Finish them off! 
seem to re seem to remember in the first game at least. you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. That's another mission complete. done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. Oh, uh... Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh... What I can do. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Just going to chat with some people now. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. 
I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Just getting on some Paragon action here. Command, how is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk right, later. How's the crew? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Uh... On, on the off chance that rumors are true and you're, you okay we've done that already uh, mark is read reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula we'd love you to look into the situation on or a, a nearby planet in the Phallus system scan the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives you should be able to detect the operative's transmitter Extract the operative if the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collected. This is very delicate, delicate Shepard. We trust you in your discretion. Okay, good. Uh, I guess we should talk with a few more people then. Talking is key in this, by the way. Uh, Bruce quarters is where the batteries are. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my door. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. 
shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Cool. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Mess Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Not that he's doing anything. Uh, let's go to talk to Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay. Ah, uh, what's here? Dr. Chuck was. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, 
And we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Cool. Alright, who else is there to talk to? Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Camp. And... Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Hmm, interesting. Exactly. Alright, uh... We've probably wasted most of the time um, here now. Let's go up to Captain's quarters. Uh, no thanks, CD. Yeah, no helmet. Well, I can't change the chest plate. Or anything. I can't change anything, apparently. Uh, let's do that. Oh, yeah. I like that. And that. Ooh. I'll go with that. Hmm, I kind of like this greyish one and this whitish one. I actually kind of like them all. Yeah, let's go with that deep, uh, deep red. And I can't customize that. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Decent music. Uh, I guess we it's time to end the episode about now, though. Uh, we we did spend a fair bit of time talking here, but that's for the greater cause later on down the story. Uh, good, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll go quickly talk to the to Joker as well. Why not? Wait, scan this stuff. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite with that pole up his ass. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some 
creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Um... Okay. Yes, uh, let's end the episode here now. So, thank you for watching, and... As usual, I will see you all in the next one. In about a week's time. Bye-bye!